What's going on YouTube? Bird here and in today's video I'm going to show you my in-game anti-armor build. Now this is a full health build where you can play junkies or anti-armor. I do prefer anti-armor. So I'm going to show you the perks I'm using, the legendary perks. I'm going to show you weapons and demonstrations of those weapons. And I'm going to recommend you some armor to wear. So other than that guys, let's get into it. And before I show you my perks guys, this is how my skills look normally, okay? So take a screenshot if you'd like. But this is how they look before the legendary perks are applied and all that stuff. So let's get into the perks. Now for my legendary perks, I have my strength maxed out. I have follow through maxed out because that gives me more damage to a target whenever I'm sneaking. And that is 40% more damage for 10 seconds. Very useful. I have my intelligence maxed out. I have my luck maxed out. And then these two, these are for my bloody build so it doesn't really matter. So... You could add two different ones if you want, but they don't affect our build. And now onto the perks. The first thing we're going to go over is strength and strength. I really just have my carry weight perks. That is mainly what I use that for. And I do have blocker, but as a high health build, you won't really need this because you won't worry. You won't be worrying about getting like one hit KO'd or something like that. Now, what you would want to do though, is if you're a heavy gunner build, you'd want to max out your heavy gunner stuff. Now, like your heavy gunner perks and all that stuff. That's what you'd want in this section right here, guys. But this is my anti-armor commando build, my in-game one. So we go over to perception. We have our commando perks maxed out, our master commando, our regular commando, and our expert commando. Now, all together, I think that gives me 60% more damage with rifle guns which is absolutely amazing also you'd want tank killer because tank killer ignores 36 percent and has a nine percent chance of staggering staggering your targets that is a must for this build guys like tank killer commando perks absolute must now i have concentrated fire on now some people have uh this card maxed out i do not I only have it on one just because I just want to be able to target the head. It doesn't really matter how much damage or whatever else it does for it. I just want to be able to target the head, so I have it like that. Now, in a full health build, you could have... This is where you can mix up things. For me personally, I'm an anti-armor build, so I don't have any, like, chems or anything like that. So I'm not worrying about that right now. In my build, I have Life Giver because it's going to boost my health. Or I could throw on Ironclad, but... I, life giver is better to me in my own opinion next we can go over to charisma now this is where it gets kind of fun so an anti-armor build is usually either for pvp or taking it down the bosses like earl or the queen so if i was to play pvp i would probably have tenderizer on actually no i would not i would have lone wander on sorry about that if i was fighting the bosses i would have tenderizer on but if I'm fighting PvPers, I'm going to have Lone Wander on, and that is because I want more AP when I fight a when I fight PvPers. So I'm going to have Lone Wander on when I am fighting PvPers, and then I'm going to have Tenderizer on when I am fighting mobs and stuff like that. And if you're in a team, you could do the Inspirational, which only gives you more XP and stuff like that. Now over to Intelligence. This is going to help keep us alive a little bit. So. I have first aid maxed out just because if I do start losing health, boom, 45% more of your lost health regained. Like that is absolutely amazing. I wish I'd bump it up to 50, but I guess a 50 would be overkill. 45 will do, 45 will do. And then I also have Del demolition expert because I do have some guns that have explosive on them. So I use this just in case. And sometimes I'll even take out first aid and I will swap out demolition expert for a full on one just because it's 60% more damage and then I also run with born survivor so that also helps me to be able to do that but right now I mainly want to survive oh sorry so I'd be throwing that on and that I think see I have all these extra ones for specific builds and then they came out with a loadout machine so <laughs> oh. now anyways over in agility I have Action Boy maxed out. 
because I want AP. I am trying to survive. If I have AP, I am dodging left and right. Okay, guys. I am getting... I am missing bullets. I am ricocheting. I'm doing all these fun things. And I'm being able to attack with AP. So, I want AP. So, I have Action Boy maxed out. Again, I have Born Survivor. And when you fall below 40% health, automatically use a stim pack once every 20 seconds. Now, that is just something to have especially whenever you are fighting pvpers because you get hit with those legacies boom saves your life you hit you get that born survivor activate then you hit first aid you're you're surviving that's how you do it and then i have adrenaline i i just never take off adrenaline honestly gain plus 10 percent max 60 percent damage for 30 seconds per kill duration or duration refreshes with kills that is awesome so if you're just killing just oh the more people you kill the better you're gonna be doing let's just say that much now dodgy this works with pvp and without avoid 30 percent of incoming damage at cost of 30 action points this is why we want the action points guys because if we're getting shot at we're wanting to not get hit most people are throwing legacies at you or if you're fighting the boss or something like that with your anti-armor build then you don't want to be hit so use dodgy now over in luck i have i'm a vats build so i have a bunch of vats perks now i got my luck maxed out and i'm running with grim reapers sprint only one star though but any kill in vats has a 15 percent chance to restore all action points it's pretty it's pretty great i wish i could have max it out but i'm using other cards i have better criticals vats crits now do 40 percent more damage I have Serpendipity on. Serpendipity is a god tier card, guys. God tier. When you're not in power armor, absolutely. While, f while below 30% health, gain 40% chance to avoid damage. So, whenever you start losing all that health, and they keep trying to attack you, oh my god. Serpendipity, you have a chance to survive. If you fall off of a building, some god knows we got, I don't know how it works Serpendipity has got you You dodged the fall I don't know how that works Serpendipity is where it's at guys 4 leaf clover Each hit in vats has an excellent chance To fill your critical meter Now I have this one on Because I'm a vats build And I use some vats cost 25 less guns And this thing oh, All these That or this card And Critical savvy crits or critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. Those two combined, oh my gosh, you have your AP bar still when you're using vats. Congratulations. And now I have starch genes because I just I don't want to get rid of my mutations. Now you don't really have any special mutations with this build, so I'm not gonna go over any. Um, if you want to see my mutations, I'll link my bloody build in the video, and I go over it in that video. So. And eventually I'll go over a mutation video. But other than that, that's my part, or that's my perks, guys. And so let's get into the guns. So these are the weapons I'm going to be using. This is my faster fire rate anti-armor fixer with plus 50 damage resistance while aiming. I wish I was a 25-25, but it's not. And that is okay. I'm going to be using my Crusader anti-armor pistol with 33% VATS hit chance and faster reload. I'm going to be using my anti-armor railway faster fire rate oh yeah i'm going to be doing my cryo later anti-armor 25 percent less vats cost and 33 percent vats hit chance absolutely devastating we're going to be doing my plasma rifle and again we're going to be doing these on mobs and i'll be testing them out on other players also so you'll get to be able to see what they actually do like, you don't really get to see what they actually do till you fight other players, so that's what we'll be doing. Uh, I'm going to be doing my heat bucket, <laughs> my heated rust bucket hammer, faster swing speed, and I have my explosive handmade fit with the anti-armor perk. So, those are the weapons, and the armor I recommend you using, if you're just fighting mobs and stuff like that, Vanguard will do. Vanguard grants you up to plus 35 energy resistance and damage resistance the higher your health is. So a full set of that will get you done when you're fighting mobs. But if you're fighting other players, 
you want to get a full set of Sentinel Assassins. Now, Sentinel Assassins gives you a 75% chance to reduce damage by 15% while standing still, 75% chance to reduce damage by 8% from players, and then I have the action cost points for my dodgy and all that stuff. But yeah, Sentinel Assassins is for fighting other players. And Vanguard, I would just I would use that when fighting mobs. So those are the armors. Let's get into the demonstrations. So to demonstrate the weapons on mobs, I'm actually going to go to a West Tech and I'll just wipe them out. And this is not a sneak build, though you can switch it to a sneak build. You would just take out the, the action points and the dodgy and all that stuff and you'd switch it over to commando. And boom, health is right back up. This is how you survive as a full health anti-armor build. And then after I get done with this guy, I will move on to players. Okay, the guy I'm gonna kill is Mist Killer. He's 167 and I'm only gonna kill two people per gun to show you all the damage on them and everything because the rest I think would take too long but there he is we'll show you what you do with this even with that type of armor acts like it's nothing I'm gonna take that and now I'm gonna go find another victim and our next test subject is Mr. Bet Brother as you can see it shreds and I only have two on demolition expert so heck yeah on to the next gun now this next weapon I totally forgot is not a gun but it is definitely going to do the job now it's not meant for these guys because I don't have it maxed out it's mostly meant for PvPers but as you can see I can still do damage guys this is your full health anti-armor build still doing some good damage and we're surviving so that's all that matters like I don't have any in my slugger or anything like that so this is absolutely awesome and then we'll move after I kill a few more of these guys I want to kill him mostly After I kill him we'll move on to testing it on actual players now so I shall see y'all when I find a player lemon winks Oh, Lemon! Lemon! Hey, man. I'm, I'm doing a test, and I have to hit you really hard. Uh oh, he's healing. He's healing. But he's not healing good enough. Now, he wasn't fighting back, but you did see what it did to his armor, guys. I'm going to just take that non-fighting back material, and on to the next. And guys, of course, my weapon of choice this time is the Plasma Rifle. I'm already getting attacked by a mutant, got a little too close. But this weapon is devastating. So, watch this. Instantly. Instantly. I will kill a few of these guys and then we'll move on to players. But if you're not using your Plasma Rifle or your Plasma Gun, you're messing up right now. This, these things are crazy, especially in PvP, especially in PvP. All right, and the first guys to eat my plasma flames, one of them is right there. There's that. I did see another. Let's see. We'll just... Thank you, sir. There's the other. Now, got, we got a... We got a two-in-one, guys. Is there a third? Oh my gosh, guys. There's a third. Are y'all ready for this? Oh my god. <laughs> That's the power of the um, plasma rifle, guys. 
And the next pick of the gun will be my Cryolator, guys. Now this is just a plain Jane one. But, as you can see, they don't do that well against mobs. Now my Vats does okay damage, but outside of Vats, they're not the best. I will give them that. But, if you have a Legacy one, you can, you can do alright with them. Now I'm still being able to like kill them and all that stuff but these guns will be mainly used for PvP purposes because there is not yet an armor or a damage resistance towards ice so we will get screwed with cryo damage and that is why if you run into someone using a cryo gun you're probably running they're probably gonna cryo you you know, you're probably gonna get it frozen, and you're probably gonna get really mad. So just don't fight them. <laughs> but now we shall move on to PvP. And now the first victim will be K9. Let me reload this. K9, I wish I could talk to you, sir, but I can't, so I'm not going to. Oh. Oh. What the, the hell, dude? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, K9. I can't talk. <laughs> I'm sorry. And now the weapon of choice is the one, the only, the Choo Choo Gun. Now this one is spec for damage. This is my heavy hitter gun. So if you're looking for a heavy hitter commando gun, just in general, Railways is where it's at. Like 100%. If you can get yourself an anti-armor one, a quad one, like this one's an anti-armor faster fire rate, which is honestly the one I run 24-7, you could run like a quad, the quads are absolutely awesome. Like I don't like doing glitches or anything anymore, so I kind of am suffering on that aspect when using this, because I do have a nuclear winter laser where I could, you know, do the deed, but... I'm trying to I'm trying to be legit. So, we're running with this one. It's absolutely devastating though. You see what it does to all these guys? Now I shall show you what it does to PVP players. Here we go. Where are you, sir? Oh, he just is he gone? There's two guys there. Where is he at? Oh, right there. Yep. Mr. 400, I th oh, I thank you. And now for one of my very, very personal favorite guns, my Cryo Crusader. And why would this be one of my favorite guns, you ask me? Well, I'll show you. It does awesome damage to mobs. You know, it's not like, oh my gosh, it's a fix, it's gonna kill something. But no, it's, it's doing decent damage. It's a VATS gun, it's anti-armor. And my favorite thing is, is I can use it fighting these mobs. And, uh oh, someone's launching a nuke. But I can use it fighting these mobs. And I can also use it very, very well in PvP. You can use them like this. Not just Vats guns. You feel like James Bond. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, and I use the cryo. Uh, what is it? The cryo modification on it. So, there's that. Now let's get into the PvP. And the first person to be eating our cryo bullets will be Mrs. Marley Jacob. And as you can tell, it eats right through the higher levels. And now my last victim with this gun is Mr. Level 99457. Yes sir indeed. You have a ton of turrets and they are doing their job all right. And last but certainly not least we have my fixer. Now this is a anti faster fire rate with 50% damage resistance while aiming. Not a bad gun. I love it. Absolutely. Now, as you can see, it just does the work on the mobs. And after I kill a few more, I'll show y'all doing the work on actual players. But anti-armor, man, I tell you, 
it is one of the best builds because you can run it full health you can run it bloodied you can do whatever you want with it but i absolutely love it i love running full health not ever having to worry about dying whether i be fighting the mobs or fighting pvp and our last but certainly not least unwilling participant or unknowing participant of the fixer eater i thank you for letting me demonstrating this weapon sir and i will take that you have a good day sir and we shall go hide in your communist bunker yeah <laughs> And guys, that is that. I appreciate y'all for watching it. That is the in-game anti-armor build. Those are some weapons you can use and the types of armor you can use. So if you enjoy the Fallout 76 content, make sure you're liking, subscribing, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.